This simulation run demonstrates how to handle a ship unberthing a port hand berth in calm weather conditions. The vessel is equipped with a right-handed propeller. The objective of this scenario is to handle the vessel clear a port hand berth then depart with the application of the propulsions, helms in combination with mooring lines, and taking into consideration the effects of transverse thrust. It is recommended that, in all cases of leaving a berth, the stern should be canted clear to avoid unexpected impacts or effects between the propellers and rudders to the berth's constructions. This can be done by applying slowly a head engines on a forward spring, while the helm is hard over towards the key. In this manner, the forward spring must be tight to avoid high dynamic tension generated due to the headway momentum of the vessel. The spring line can be tensioned tightly by heaving on a headline. It is recommended to double up the spring lines. In this situation, an offshore headline is preferable because it can create an initial moment to additionally pull the bow inwards and cause the stern to turn out towards the key. When reverse engines, the effects of transverse thrust will cause the stern to swing inwards, then check the vessel parallel the key. Therefore, the canting angle prior to reverse engines in this situation should be large enough. Maneuvering steps. This maneuvering can be divided into five basic steps. Step 1. Single up to a forward spring and a headline. Let go all other lines. Step 2. Heave on the headline to make tight the spring, and apply engines at dead's lower head. The stern would be expected to turn outwards the berth. Step 3. Once the stern is canted away from the berth, apply rudder amidships, and let go the headline, then reverse engines. When the vessel moves sternway, the spring goes slack, let it go. Step 4. Once all lines are cleared, increase the astern propulsion with rudder amidships. The transverse thrust effects would turn the stern inwards and check the vessel parallel with the berth. Step 5. When the bow is clear the key, apply head engines and helms to depart. In this scenario, the ship model is a container vessel. Her length is 121 meters, breadth is 20.8 meters, and the draft is 6.56 meters. The ship is fully loaded and fixed with a single right-handed propeller. The weather is in a calm condition, 